Good morning, day 708 here, it's 11.06. I did my math from home. Um, my alarm went off this morning at about 7.45 and it was one of those hail no mornings. So that got done from home today, didn't need to go in. Car started, that's good. Uh, it didn't want to, it was a very slow crank. Um, and for those of you who think it could be the alternator, at this point I don't believe that's the case due to the age and symptoms from the battery um, and my alternator not functioning light is not on so at least at this point that is good all right welcome to the vlog so my sister the ditch she is ditz not the other word found somebody's ID apparently in the parking lot several days ago and I've seen it sitting in the uh, in the kitchen, just this random kid's school ID, and she does, she's clueless. She doesn't even know where the office is in that school, and she's been going there two years. So I'm on my way to Dave Waller to get the battery, and I'm gonna drop that off now. So, yeah, good deed for me for the day, I suppose. Wow, it is strange being back here. Walked in the front door, and that, that, that high school smell hit, whatever they used to clean the floors in there, and it brings back hundreds of memories, most of which good, um, but it's funny, like the first day of school you go in there and you, you get that smell and then you come back after Memorial Day weekend and it's like, ah, I gotta come back and do 179 more days of this shit. Um, that wasn't the case today because I don't have to go back, but honestly, I wish I could. I miss it. So for those of you in high school, enjoy it because it goes by in minutes. All freaking right, buddy. Check it out. It's the BWC series from Kent State University. We can see they got Christmas lights up over there, and the mouse is on the clock tower. It's coming. There's a new furred over there, I think, in red. It looks really nice. Maybe is it a Kia? It's a Kia. Yeah. Yeah, the Kias are looking better, but Suzuki, they're not, they're not doing so well. I'm gonna make a quick stop at the bank over here and look at that. Beautiful Panamera, I love those wheels, Panamera 4S. Fun fact, that's where I was born. CPO lot, <clears throat> a 550i, and Dave Walter BMW. Oh, listen to that jazz. There we go. F10, E39, E60. All right, let the fun begin. All right, picked up the battery, um, except I buggered up and I didn't check the tools that I brought. I brought six through 11 millimeters and it's a 12. And I said I was gonna bring a 12, but I was busy and on the phone last night and that didn't happen. So we're still gonna be on the old battery until I can get home this afternoon, get the right tools and then swap them out. And then the old one, I don't wanna come all the way back down here. So I guess I'll find someone local to dispose of that. All right, guys, I went to physics, now we're home. It's uh, three o'clock, and I just did a DIY on how to change a car battery. I never thought I'd do that, but I did, because it isn't as straightforward as, as uh, something like this is. Anyways, here's the old battery. You can see that is completely clear in there now. Uh, look at the size of this thing. There is my hand. This is a very large battery. I can't even pick it up to show you the side of it like that with one hand. It's freaking huge. For comparison, hopefully this is unlocked and I can pop the hood, but of course it's locked. So I'm letting the new battery charge up for a little bit, five minutes, and then we should be good. Well, I said I would show you this quite a while ago, so essentially all I did was clean this uh, ductwork into the uh, intake here all the way around. I couldn't get everything off. There's a little bit of discoloration there. It's probably just been worn from being removed to install components like the thermostat and water pump and stuff that's down there. 
Um, I have not been able to clean down in here yet. That is coming. <clears throat> like this ductwork that goes into the first air box here. I'm also missing a clip on each one and I can't find these clips anywhere. I bought these clips that I thought were those clips and they turned out to be these clips. They're smaller, so I've got extra clips like that. But I also cleaned this and the top of the plenum or whatever that's called and the and that and uh, this has always been pretty clean up through here but yeah I think it looks pretty decent what's up guys 1223 in the morning here on, uh, on now Tuesday but still Monday's vlog 708 uh, today was a really busy day I got stuff done this morning I got stuff done this afternoon it was productive it was good uh, the new batteries in the car it's working very well it unlocks quicker the sounds are louder it starts a hell of a lot easier and uh, here is the old battery. I mean, the size of this thing is massive. I don't remember if I filmed it or not. But the video is on E39 source. I figured I'd make one of these videos for dummies um, on how to replace the battery. And it's different with the M5 than the regular 5 series. Uh, the 525, 28, 35, 30, and 40 batteries right over here, like down there. Mine's in the middle in the trunk. You can go check out that E39 source video. So I made two appointments for things that are going to be happening to the car today. Um, not happening today, but I made the appointments today for one this month and one early next month, so uh, you'll see that when it happens. Uh, but yeah, you know, Colt got his, and um, it's kind of given me a bunch of motivation, a lot of motivation, to get back into making the car what I want it to be. And, and that still involves a couple little things inside and some bigger things outside and whatnot, uh, but it's it's going to get done. It's just going to take some time and some money, as, as we know. Um, anything else for today? I don't think so. I think we're looking at a relatively decent vlog length today. Um, oh, remember when I did that wax on the car and it got all over this trim? And I said, I'll, I'll figure it out later. I'll try something. I'll buy the Zeno stuff. So I bought the Zeno stuff that's supposed to be for trim. And it did really well on this trim. This is like a smooth plastic finish. Uh, that comes along the whole side of the car, and that's, that's smooth, it's not a porous material. Well, back on the back bumper, on each corner, the M5 has that, that's a porous material. Same thing over here on the side, of course, and on the front, they're a little smaller, but it has that same kind of trim going on up here, and obviously over here. So, um, I took all those pieces off today, took them inside, I tried a couple different recommendations that people had mentioned. Peanut butter. They said if you smear peanut butter in there and let it sit a little bit and then brush it off with soapy water, it'll disappear. And it looks great until the pieces dry. And once they dry, that white wax comes right back. So that didn't work. Then I tried the Meguiar's Tire Shine. I think Andrew from E39 Source with the 2000 Jet Black M5 told me about that. And it looked really good until it dried and then it all came back. So, soapy water hot water and dish soap, which is more abrasive and takes wax off things, seem to get about 95% of the wax out of here. There's a little bit like up in this corner that I couldn't get off, at least with this application. I may do it again in the spring, but it got most of it off and now it looks really, really black and clean and shiny and that's exactly what I wanted. So a lot of scrubbing, all four pieces, probably took an hour. But I'm glad to get that done. Now I'm going to go in, edit this vlog. I have an essay that's due tomorrow. We don't have class tomorrow because she canceled it. She asked us if we wanted to have class Tuesday. Obviously everybody said no, so only one class tomorrow. That's nice. Two on Wednesday, and or one on Wednesday. Oh, that's right. Only one on Wednesday, and then I'm done with the week. Thanksgiving on Thursday. I'm going over to my aunt's house, and my grandparents will be there and whatnot. And then Friday, we have our tradition of going down to Smithville and the barn, and we'll talk about that later. So, good progress with the car today. Good progress with other stuff. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow at 7.09.